Hi everyone, Paul here again. Um, just thought I'd give a little bit of an update on the um, motorbike and the batteries. Um, what you're looking at there is the cell boards all going. Um, and what you're not seeing, because of course it's invisible, is that they're actually charging at the moment. Um, so let's take you through that a bit. What we have on the top here is on the left, this one, we have the lithium eight light, the battery management system. It's talking to the two banks, one on the left hand side of the bike, one on the right. Um, it's connected via the, uh, the um, circuit on the bottom through the charger. Um, it, that uh, tells the lithium eight light how much charge is going in. It's an amp meter. Um, it's then got a, an external connection um, on the left hand the pair of grey wires to the charger to turn the uh, circuit for the charger on. On the right hand pair of grey wires is just the 12 volts to keep the lithium eight light running. Uh, the other grey wire is the current sensor for the main uh, battery pack under load. Um, that's a, a separate coil um, on this dodgy kind of thing here. Um, this box here is the fuse box. Um, it plugs into um, the battery through the red and black wires um, and then um, has an individual circuit for um, the charger and the um, battery, the onboard monitoring um, which is hooked up now. It'll also have a connection to the DC converter and to um, anything else that I need to plug into the uh, main 120 volt pack voltage. So the battery monitor, uh, lithium eight light, is running this down here. The box on top is the um, solid state relay and uh, that turns on the um, charger, which I've got, currently doing 127.4 volts or so. Um, and then that goes through the USB cable, through the massive bits and pieces, to the Lithium 8 Lite software. At the moment, um, for reasons that I haven't yet figured out, the uh, battery management uh, thinks that it can't turn off the charger. Um, the way that works is there's a series of tests that it does um, and there's a series of steps there. Um, the good thing about the Lithium 8 Lite is that over here you can actually manually override the bits of the circuit to test piece and test parts of it so that I've I've clicked that charge OK button um, with the C pointing to it and that turn that allows me to override the normal con control and turn the whole um, the charger on so I can charge it. Um, the monitoring then shows me this nice graph um, it's fairly static at the moment, but if you hover over these um, pieces, it will tell you which actual cell numbered from one up um, from the negative most uh, is at. So that that the lowest cell is number three at uh, 3.32 volts. Then the bunch of them at 3.41, a bunch of them at 3.33, and so on and so forth. Um, number, none of them were anywhere near fully charged yet, so uh, I'm not overly concerned about that. Um, and then there's a uh, monitoring of the temperatures of the cells. It's a fairly cool day here in Canberra, so uh, they're all sitting at about 14, 15 degrees. Um, and uh, we can see about 10 amps, 11.6 amps going in. Um, and I'll keep on monitoring this uh, to see how it goes because the the normally if the battery management system 
thought that test A was okay, when the charger had completed its charge, it would automatically turn off the charger. But since we're in override, um, we're, we're in manual control, um, that won't turn off and the hopefully, <laughs> hopefully the uh, charger would turn itself off, but I'm not going to trust that, so I'm going to keep an eye on it. Anyway, um, it's taken me to, a bit to get to this point. The um, getting the fuse box and get all, getting all the the um, Anderson connectors on that, um, getting them into um, getting the battery management system to talk to the batteries and so forth, and not blowing up um, cell boards. Um, it's a, it's just been a bit of a process, but uh, here we are and. Um, happy to have actually have it charging. See you soon.